Hey, what's up guys? Pablo here with another video. And today we have the unboxing and my first thoughts and impressions on the Renew Ride 2 by Nike. As usual, I'm not a professional runner and I've only been able to wear the shoes for about a week. So keep that in mind while watching the video. Also, I will be drawing plenty of comparisons to the Renew Run 2, which I unboxed earlier in the year. So if you haven't watched that video yet, I recommend you do. The link for the video should be appearing on the screen right now or you can find it in the description as well. The Renew Ride 2 released at one point during early to mid 2021. The shoe retails for 75 US dollars on Nike and a couple other US retailers. And as usual, I got them true to size. Just like the last couple of videos, I ordered these while in Mexico and I received them in the same shipping packaging that seems to be environmentally friendly. Once out of the shipping packaging, the shoes came inside of what might seem like a regular orange Nike shoe box. This box, however, turned out to be the same one that we saw earlier this year with the Renew Run 2, which has a graphic of the Renew foam pattern throughout the box. Going off of that, when I first opened up the shoe box and when I first came across this silhouette on the website actually, I was very surprised by how similar it looked to the Renew Run 2. But although at first glance they look similar and perhaps even equivalent, when you take them out of the box and take a closer look, there are some key differences that turn the Renew Ride into an overshadowed brother to the Renew Run. This family, or rather brother's idea, is what I believe to be the best way to represent the difference in value between the shoes. The Renew Ride isn't a terrible shoe. Yes, it is cheaper by 15 US dollars, but it's not bad. What happens is the Renew Run 2 is equipped with features that make it stand out and perhaps worth the step up. One of those features is the more premium upper that this Renew Ride doesn't have. Instead, the shoe has an open hole mesh upper that actually heavily reminded me of the Renew Run 1. This upper, however, seems like a huge upgrade from the Renew Ride 1, which I didn't get a chance to try, but it seemed very stiff and not too breathable in pictures. The one on this second generation is actually pretty flexible and kind of breathable. The openings throughout are helpful, but ever so often it would still feel like they didn't allow for much airflow. Staying on the top half of the shoe, the tongue on the run too attaches to the upper and it creates an internal booty design which this shoe doesn't have. The tongue is separate from the upper, which creates a less uniform and seamless fit. The tongue wouldn't always sit against my foot the way I wanted it to, so there were a few times where I had to go back and readjust it before being happy with the fit. Another difference between the shoes was the heavy amount of rubber on the outsole on this Renew Ride 2 that the run didn't have. Although that shoe had a bit more rubber than usual, the outsole on this one is almost entirely covered, which I found odd since rubber is usually meant to cover high impact areas or areas of the foam that might not be as durable. Regardless of why they did this, the foam on this Renew Ride is actually pretty decent. It's only single density foam, unlike the dual density found on the Run 2, but it got the job done. And I can almost guarantee that it's miles ahead from the one found on the first generation of the shoe, which seemed to have used the past version of Renew, which was awful. But I unboxed one of the shoes with that foam, and it is now my most watched video ever, so I guess I can't really complain. Back to the shoe though, the midsole, or even the entire bottom half of the shoe, doesn't have the curvature that the Run 2 has, making this shoe a bit flatter against the ground. And this is something that I enjoyed better on this one versus the Run 2, especially for hit workouts. Since it's flatter against the ground, my feet would land better and I felt a lot more comfortable doing the exercises. I did have to adjust my laces before my first workout and run since Nike made the collar in the second generation a bit wider, so it felt a bit loose at the heel. Fortunately, the laces include an extra set of lace hoops in order to provide you with a more customized fit. Throughout the hit workouts, the shoe was great, not the softest foam ever, but it got the job done. The only complaint I have, and it's mostly because my feet are weird, is that these are narrow at the instep where the forefoot and the midfoot connect. This is something that I noticed from the moment I put them on, hoping that it would go away as I broke them in. I feel the same way about these when it comes to running. They did a decent job. It's not the best I've had, but also not the worst. The midsole held up pretty well, although I do think that the dual density foam on the Run 2 
has the advantage. On top of that, the curvature on that shoe is probably better for running as it flows naturally with your stride. Now casually, I think I have to give it to the Run 2 as well. The Renura i2 was decent for casual wear, but I do believe that the narrow fit that I mentioned kind of ruined it for me because it is quite noticeable. Primarily because it didn't allow for much freedom at the front of the foot and it also didn't help that the upper is not the most stretchy. The shoe didn't look terrible with jeans, which is something I also have to give to the run too. As usual though, I prefer the more athletic or leisure wear, but how you decide to wear them depends on your preference and style. Overall, the Renew Ride 2 is a competent running shoe, especially for 75 US dollars. It is unfortunately overshadowed by its own brother, the Renew Run 2, because of a few key differences. And that was it for today's video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and got something useful out of it. If you did, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up. And also, we are almost at a thousand subs. So if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel so we can hit this milestone together. Also, if you have or had the Renew Ride 2, please go ahead and leave a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions on it so other people watching can also consider them. Thank you guys for watching. Pablo, out.